So we begin again, only this time we're making some real progress in X-Plane 11 with Vitek Solutions. First thing we're going to take a look at right now is the captain's EFIS panel. That's up and running with the Zebo mod. VOR1 switch, as you'll see, is now up, off, ADF1, back to off. Our radio and our barrel, we're over at barrel, back to radio, and I move that button. Our approach VOR map and plan, app, VOR, map, plan, and back again. Our rings, 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, 640, and all the way back again. Inches, HPA, as you can see, is working. VOR2 and ADF2. So, the Captain's EFIS panel is now working between Flight Tech Solutions and x 11 with the Zebo mod. Now we're going to move over to the first officer's panel. We have the first officer's EFIS panel. I'm going to stretch over it, move some buttons here. VOR1, off, ADF1, back to off, radio, barrel, and we're going to go from approach, VOR, map, land, map, VOR, approach, our rings, it's at 320, we're at 640 now, 320, 160, 80, 40, 20, 10, 5. ADF, VOR2, off, ADF2, back to off, and then we have our inches in HPA. So, first officer's EPIS panel is now working between Flight Deck Solutions and X-Plane 11 with the Zebo mod. Here we have the mode control panel, um, and the Zebo mod is up in the background. As you can see, the 3D uh, MCP is up there. Uh, I'm going to run through um, all the dials right now, show you that's up and running. And then once we're in the air, um, we'll go through all the buttons. Where all the buttons are up and running. They are working. Um, we can start with the flight director. We bring the flight director up. You'll see she pops up. Okay, auto throttle. I don't have the CDUs program. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. But if we bring this up, you'll see it'll click on and on. Once we're in the air and we lock that up, it'll stay once everything's programmed in. Um, our uh, airspeed works nice. Up and down. CO works. Um, speed of dimension. Now, like I said, we'll do these buttons a little bit later. Our heading indicator, up and down. We can also change between 20, uh, 30, 25, 20, 15, and 10 on the turn radius. Our altitude selector, up and back down. Vertical speed, up and back down. We have our first door, uh, first door, so we have our, uh, our flight director up, down, and our course selector on the other side. So as you can see, this is all working between Flight Deck Solutions, X Plane 11, and the Zebo mod. And by the way, no plugins have been disturbed um, in the Zebo mod. This is working right now 100% with what we have, um, with everything intact. Um, up next, we're going to take a look okay, at the we have the uh, CDUs in the Zebo. I'll just run through some of the uh, the key commands here in the flight deck, and you'll see that the uh, it'll switch on the uh, on the Zebo. It's going to follow the keys now. Um, we'll go index, indent. We we'll go to position, indent. I believe right now. Page. Data. 
as you can see, legs. She's working. If we go over to the first officer's side, um, you'll see the same thing. Next. Back. Index. Pinterest. Round. Take off. Back to the index. We go to approach. So as you can see, both CDUs are now working between Flight Deck Solutions and X-Plane and the Zebo Mod. Um, up next, we'll take a look at some of the MIP buttons because we have the, the okay. Here MIP we have the MIP, and this is done as well. <laughs> as you can see. our ground proximity setup over here on the right. I have the sound turned off so you can hear me, but if we push the button, you'll see it pops up on the Z-Ball. We can also go through our flap gear and terrain inhibit switches. Put these puppies up. There we go. I also have runway inhibit that's not on there. I don't know if the Zebo does it or not, but if they ever get around to it, I've got this one. I want to show you real quick that work has begun on the overhead panel, the forward overhead panel that is. Um, the fuel pump section um, switches are now up and running. So if we crank these puppies up, you'll see they pop on. We should have some more Flight Deck Solutions and uh, X-Plane Zevo goodness in the not too distant future. Um, we're going to continue to work on the overhead panel um, and then uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, this has been a real good uh, few days, that's for sure. See you soon.